Live from the O'Brien Services Stadium Studios, this is the fifth quarter. Welcome into the fifth quarter. I'm Tanner Barth alongside Joe Catanacci as we get ready for the final week of the high school football regular season. And can you believe we're already to the final week, Joe? Hey, it's about time. Uh, it's been a <laughs> long regular season, no doubt to get to, but a lot of great competitive games on the schedule tonight. Hoggard football team pushed to the limit in Bucktown. South Columbus looking to close out the Three Rivers Conference unbeaten during the regular season. We had rivalry matchups between South and West here in Brunswick County, or South and North, uh, West and North, I should say, in Brunswick <laughs> County, along with Pender and Trask. Big 3A matchup in Hampstead between Topsail and New Hanover. Well, that's right, and we get things started with a big game in the Mid-Eastern Conference. Laney trying to make their final playoff push on senior night. Welcome in a very good Hogger team on the gridiron. Hogger trying to put a cap on their season after claiming the conference title and an interesting start to this one. Punt straight up in the air. Laney not thinking it was going to be returned, but falls right in the arms of Isaiah Camp and goodbye. Heads up play there by Isaiah Camp, a standout guy on the defensive side there on special teams, gets the bikes on the board. And that made it seven to nothing, but this game was a turnover machine early on. Laney marching down the field, but Sherrod Sidbury has his pass picked off. Tayshawn James, I'll just let you take this one. It's too good. To the 50, the 40, the 30, the 20, all the way to the house. Touchdown, Hoggard, and they're up big early. 101 yards for the touchdown. I have a feeling we'll see that play again. The Bucks say, hey, we can do it. Well, check out this. On the other side, Gabe Johnson into the flats. It's Toby Stone and Mr. Stone. He's running like a brick wall. All season, the Vikings have taken pretty good care of the football offensively. Gets the Bucks right back into the ball game. This was a seesaw battle all the way to the end tonight. I thought this was a rugby scrum for a second, but all of a sudden, where's Sherrod Sidbury? There's Sherrod Sidbury. Breaks free 50 yards to the house. We see two, three, four different plays in this ball game that could be considered play of the week. And uh, here we go, Isaiah Kemp again with that punt return. Hoggard comes out on top, a late fumble by Laney, deep inside the Viking territory late in the fourth quarter. Gets the Hoggard Vikings unbeaten again in the Mid-Eastern Conference this season. 24 to 20, the final score. Laney gave the Vikings everything they wanted, as we just said, but nonetheless, it's a 10 and one season for Hoggard. Now they look forward to the playoffs and we be interesting to see where they go in the playoffs. Will they go up? Will they go down in classification? Well, always tough uh, to see Hoggard uh, go into a late season matchup, uh, everything on the line. You know, they come off uh, an emotional win against New Hanover to go back on the road against Laney. Sherrod Sidbury, one of the better athletes across the, the region and for Hogger to weather that offensive storm did not get off on the right foot to do that tonight and pick up a win a big time for coach Underwood and his Vikings. Now let's move on and stay in the Mid-Eastern Conference North Brunswick on the road at West to end the season down to Shalot we go as West Brunswick looks to bounce back from their Monday loss to New Hanover taking on the Scorps of North. This one would start slow. Both teams trying to run the football, but Austin Simmons dropping the hammer a little bit there. The fog ball over here. What's that? A 38 yard field goal pit, uh, kick right there for the Trojans to get them on the board 3 0. How about Murphy with a 38 yarder? And then just like that, as we said, with the fog, they're keeping the ball on the ground early with this heavy fog in the area. And then how about this? Trey Bell finishes it off, plunges his way into the end zone. That made it 10 to nothing Trojans there early. Bell gets into the end zone here early. We'll see him later on in the highlights with a touchdown pass, a little tease. But first, North Brunswick there. If you could see him, he's out and about and around. Uh, Damon Perry with some hesitation cuts back into midfield. And there he goes down. Uh, the middle of the field, a kickoff return for North Brunswick to start the second half, and all of a sudden the Scorps are right back in the ball game. He goes all the way just like that. That would trim the lead, but then we continue to go on in this ball game. Little pass out to the right side, and there it is. You talked about it early. Trey Bell touchdown pass. The Trojans back in the win column as they take this one 17 to 14. The final score. They're playing good football right now. Hey, that may have well clinched a uh, spot in the upcoming playoffs for the Trojans with that win tonight. Good open there from the Pinder High cheerleaders, Coastal Lake. Conference Pender hosting Heidi Trask. Trask run it early and often in this one. Evan Longley bulls his way over to the defender, and then he says, watch this, his O-line out front, picking up blocks. He is gone, no one to catch him for the score. Well, you saw those linebacker, or the offensive line rather, getting to the second level of that defense with the big running back. Oh, then he has the ball stripped right from him. Got to hold on to the football there. Pender jumps on it. Whoop, whoop, got a little butter on his hands, but as they say, that's going the other way. Pender with the football, and check out this play. Into the flat. It's Bryson Stewart, and he throws it, and just watch this young man go to work. Mackel Henry, and the old Chris Berman would say, whoop, whoop, see ya. I mean, that went uh, left, it went right, it went around the corner, back in towards his own end zone, and then he takes it all the way to the house for the Pender Patriots and a touchdown. 
and they would be a interception thrown here by Trask on their next possession. The Titan offense, well, they would do it in the second half to pull away from Tinder. 38 to 14, the final score tonight from Burgoff. And how about this one? Three Rivers Conference title, the Sal Stallions celebrating senior night, trying to bring home a conference title, taking on the East Blade Eagles. It's a quick start offensively for this Stallion team who is very talented. Yeah, pullback right there. Tate Lee, short yarded touchdown, gets tripped up, but keeps his feet going. South Columbus up early in this one, 7 0. But East Blade, they would respond near the end of the first quarter. Eric Chancey, the senior, finds a hole on the right side of the O line. He's in. We tie this ball game up at seven in the conference title. We move to the second quarter, and it's the senior signal call calling his own number, Brady Ivey. Another score. short yardage touchdown there for South Columbus early in the second quarter makes it 14-7 uh, in favor of the Stallions, and they continue to roll here. Beautiful play action Literally, pass there. Little roll out to his left side. Brady Ivey finds his man as Peyton Ray. That would make it 21 to 7 at that point in the game. South Columbus had a few turnovers in the second half, but East Bladen trimmed the lead down. South Columbus, your Three Rivers Conference champs, they went at 28 to 13 and a good win there for Russell Dub and his team. South Columbus, uh, you know, firing on all cylinders coming off that emotional win against uh, White Bull back on Saturday. And here they are uh, tonight, able to pick up another one. East Bladen, they remain undefeated going into the playoffs. True, well, don't switch your channels. We have more high school football action after the break. But huge playoff implications on the line in Hampstead for this week's fifth quarter game of the week. We'll be right back.